Here in Illinois, agriculture is a way of life for many. And in the last year, more than 32,000 acres of agricultural land has been converted for solar projects. But this raises the question, can agriculture and solar power coexist? In Coles County, renewable energy has drawn attention. This hearing involved a proposed wind farm, but some in attendance expressed concerns about solar power too. Um, I, I honestly think that solar is worse even though I've sold it. I've, I sold solar as a um, way for farmers to save money on the power bills. Uh, obviously you see the gray legs and the big machine sheds and stuff like that. It takes up a lot of electricity. so. Uh, I think it's a no-brainer, you know, if it's not, if it's not taking up a very big footprint. Phil Bergman believes solar sites should not take up a sizable part of farmland. So every acre of ground that we lose to something that's not agriculture, you, you have to look at it in terms of we're losing food to feed the world with. Phil isn't the only person who feels strongly about keeping solar off usable farmland. Republican Congresswoman Mary Miller says she has proposed legislation to help protect farmland. Does, and I actually have a bill to stop solar from covering Class A and Class B farm ground. Representative Miller's bill would require the Department of Agriculture to assess the impact solar panel installation, operation, and decommissioning would have on the health of farm soil, livestock, water drainage, and vegetation. She says the only thing that needs to be on Illinois' farmland is crops. But... That isn't her only concern, solar companies buying out land from farmers. Also, it's gonna cause consolidation in agriculture, in my opinion, because now, if they're paying $3,500 an acre to put solar on, the only people now, because agriculture is struggling economically, now the people that have the money to go buy land or to outrent their neighbors are the people that are bellied up to the taxpayer subsidized Chinese solar. Since fiscal year 2020, according to the Illinois Department of Agriculture, more than 120,000 acres of agricultural land has been converted for solar projects. Here in Coles, Clark, and Cumberland counties, around 1,800 acres have been converted. We've seen more solar fields under construction northeast of Ashmore and north of Mattoon. But those who support solar say there are beneficial opportunities with solar. The idea is that it's a collaborative effort and a, and a partnership. Director of Development for Apex Clean Energy, Alan Moore, says farmers can use solar to improve and expand their business. It's never really kind of an all or nothing type deal. They don't have to lease us all their ground. Um, so we'll work with people to identify areas that would work for solar um, and work for the landowner's decision on how they would like to manage their, their property. I think that, uh, again, there's a way to have it exist synergistically and, and take some ground out of production, but bring big uh, investment into communities. Some groups like American Farmland Trust are helping farmers navigate renewable energy. You know, there's engineering specs as far as how many panels are hooked together within a string. I spoke to the group's Midwest solar specialist, Alan Bailey, who sold a small utility scale site outside Springfield. He says farmers can use solar energy to offset power bills. By, by trimming down their energy costs, that it doesn't take long for somebody to get on board with that. Some are worried about the soil's health during solar installation, and Bailey says there is minimal concrete put in to support the posts and some gravel from the temporary construction roads. Biggest soil health concerns is uh, minimizing the movement of soil off-site uh, is probably the largest one. Um, and then also ensuring that the site can be farmed in the future, uh, you know, through minimizing compaction. Uh, compaction is probably the other major issue that does occur on large scale solar sites. The AFT released a project in 2022 called Smart Solar, which has three principles. Safeguard land well suited for farming and ranching, strengthen farm viability, and accelerate solar energy development. So the energy is only going to cost us more as we go forward. The group works closely with solar developers and policymakers on every scale to help serve farmers. There is a way for renewable energy, mainly solar, to coexist with farmland. One option, a practice called agrivoltaics, in which land is used for both energy production and farming. Agrivoltaics is gaining a lot of ground in Illinois and throughout the Midwest. Researchers at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign broke ground in March installing their own new solar arrays. These plots will only be used for energy generation, but also to grow regional crops like soybeans and sorghum. 
The sustainably co-locating agricultural and photovoltaic electricity systems was funded by the National Institute of Food and Agriculture in 2021. The $10 million project collaborates with other universities in Colorado and Arizona. So this project is coming out of land use conflicts between solar energy and agriculture. Project coordinator Paul Mubaze says agricultural land meets a lot of criteria for solar farms. Flat ground, pre-established infrastructure, and access to an electrical grid. And so one way to coexist the two is through agrivoltaics, basically trying to grow crops in between, underneath or around the panels to make good use of the land. The group has had a few challenges, including limited solar panel options and overall access. The group had been sharing another plot of land to conduct research. It's research logistics. We have found out that just because we have money doesn't mean we can start constructing. Which that kind of was shocking for us that, hey, we've been funded. We have, you know, a significant amount of money. We want to start building uh, and, you know, pause. Here we go. Two years later, we finally, we finally have our AV farm that we designed with our specs. And with the research so far, they have learned agrivoltaics isn't a one-size-fits-all. There is a possibility that in the future, there will be like a new generation of farmers that may be interested in using the land around solar panels. Escapes researchers aren't the only ones who think that. The typical row crop farmer is not going to change what they've been doing in order to farm in between rows of solar panels, whereas this uh, agrivoltaics can provide the opportunity for somebody to come back to the farm that may not have had a place until later on and be able to create a business of their own and do their own type of farming while still be able to helping help work on you know the existing farm that's there already 